G'day YouTube. In today's video, I'll be making a crosscut sled. For the base, I'm using 19mm slash 3 quarter inch ply board. All four sides will be cut at 600mm, which is almost 23 and a half inches in square. I use my caliper so I can accurately measure the width for my hardwood runners. Nice and smooth. Here I'm using washers to raise the runners above the table saw top. I then squirt a small amount of glue above the two runners. I rest the ply board along the fence then lower into position. I added some weight to let the glue dry. Yeah, you're right, these bad boys are heavy. I mark 10 points along the runners where I will pre-drill holes with the countersink ready to attach the screws. With an off-cut ply board, I begin to rip down three strips, which will be laminated together to act as my rear sled fence. Their measurements are 600mm by 100mm. So this is the pattern that I'll be using for my rear fence. I'll cut as much as I can on the table saw and finish off using the hand saw. Righto, time for the glue up.
I cleaned all the edges with the router and used the sander to create a small roundover on the edge of the fence. Okay, I'm now ready to attach the fence to the rear of the sled. This fence does not have to be square as its main purpose is to support the base. I will use the same pattern for the front fence and only use one ply board. Again, I cut as much as I can on the table saw and finish the rest off with my hand saw. Once again, I clean all the edges and create a small roundover. I managed to find a dressed pine offcut in the shed. It will be cut at 600 mil. I'll now rip this piece down to 50 by 30 mil, which in turn will be laminated to the front fence. All the excess glue that you see was wiped away with a damp cloth. I come in 70mm from the front edge and I square a line all the way across. This is where the front fence will be positioned. I now make a pilot cut, but very importantly not all the way through. Now, before I forget, I need to put a chamfer on the bottom edge of the inside fence. 
In turn, this will give the sawdust somewhere to go. I clamp one corner on the marked line. Then carefully flip it over. I then pre-drill a hole complete with countersink and attach one screw only. With my tri-square, I made a slight adjustment until I was 100% confident the square aligned with the blade. I then marked a new line on the corner and carefully clamped in position. I continue with the pilot cut, but not all the way through. I brought this aluminium T-rack, complete with adjustable stop from my local CNC store. Pretty cool, huh? Right, eh? Moment of truth. Yep, that's a big thumbs up from me. I made a curved profile with two ply board offcuts. I'll then fix a piece of perspex on top to act as a shield. I run my heat gun gently back and forth to soften it and then shape it into place. Once cooled, the perspex retains its shape permanently. I'm very careful not to over tighten the screws as I don't want the perspex to crack. I'll use a bar of beeswax to lubricate both the runners and the base of the sled. Yep, smooth as silk.
Here's something important to know. The thicker your base is, the less blade height you get to play with. I reckon three quarters of an inch is just about right for me. This gives me a maximum blade height of 47 mil. Always rest your thumbs on the outside of the two curved ply boards with your four fingers in line with your thumbs. <laughs> 